What's up, collective? I'm back with some more messages for the divine, okay? I tried to take a nap. I said that the last video I just posted was going to be my only videos for today, but I was trying to lay down and something just kept saying, get up, go make another video. The collective needs you. They need more messages. So I'm going to jump right in, okay? So this message is for some. This message is for somebody. Everything will happen in divine timing, okay? I feel like there's a collective of people out here rushing things, rushing a career, rushing a relationship, rushing, you know, their life to be together, okay? Spirit is saying, calm down, all right? Everything that needs to happen in your life is going to happen when it's supposed to. Stop rushing everything. Stop being impatient, okay? Have some patience in life, okay? Even if it don't seem like your life is moving anywhere, have some patience, okay? Because trying to rush and make sure everything happens when you want to is going to drive you crazy, okay? Like this card says, just crazy. You know, you just crazy for thinking that everything comes when you want it to. Even though, you know, you can manifest what you want. If you're not putting in the work for it, it's not going to come, all right? So that's just starting off for somebody. That's the message for somebody. Everything is going to happen when it's supposed to, okay? Just like some of you guys are not understanding why you got stuck in a relationship that was so fucked up. What was the point? Why did this happen to you? It happened to you because it was to prepare you, you know, for the next best thing or the next journey, okay? And this card just kept showing itself. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and let you come on out, okay? Also, you know, Everything has to happen when the time is right because some of you feminines are still operating and you don't even have to be a feminine, okay? You could be a karmic watching this video. Some of you guys are still operating on a weak-minded frequency, okay? You're easily influenced, okay? But Spirit wants you to know that you are 100% pure love. No shit, DF, okay? I guess I'm talking to DFs. I guess I'm talking to a collective of divine feminines that are still operating you know, on a weak mind basis, all right? If that makes any sense. I ain't trying to stem for nobody. But I'm just saying, get strong-minded, okay? Stop being easily influenced. Also, I would like to mention that there are a lot of people that are walking into their success at this current moment, okay? And I want you guys to keep an eye of, of the people around you, including family, friends, all right, there is a lot of jealous family members surrounding the feminines at this current moment. A lot of family members that are smiling in your face, acting like they're happy for you. They might even be trying to help you with shit, but they really don't want to see you prosper the way that they're trying to portray that they do. Okay, and I just need to let y'all know what spirit is letting me know. Spirit is saying that it may become a point where you have to cut off some jealous family members, whether it be your mother, your father, your cousin, your brother, your sister, okay? It's fucked up, but there are parents out here that are jealous of their daughters, jealous of their sons, you know, just jealous, period. You know, they don't want to stay, they're jealous that, you know, for some, I'm hearing there are mothers that are irritated because they had a career that they were pursuing or they were doing so good at a point in their life and you came along and they feel like you ruined it so they've t they've been taking out on you the fact that they couldn't pursue their success okay a lot of you guys have the same talents as your parents and you're prospering with those talents and the parents are jealous so just keep in mind that if you have a parent or a, or an aunt or an uncle or anybody, it doesn't matter. It could be a foster parent. It could be a grandmother that raised you, anything. I'm definitely picking up on a lot of family members that are jealous of your success, okay? And if you haven't gotten success yet, it's coming and you're going to start noticing. People try to put you down. They're not going to be, you know, you might tell them, you know, they try to brag about something good that finally happened for you. And they just be like, oh, yeah. Okay, that's jealousy. And it's going to come to a point where you got to X those jealous motherfuckers out your circle, okay? So I got unchanged energy and unchanged mind, all right? So like I just said, 
feminines, you guys are about to have a lot of success coming in, a lot of money, a lot of things. A lot of your dreams are about to start coming true because you finally did something that you haven't. And that's love you first. Okay. But spirit is letting me know that if you don't change your energy, if you don't change your mind about shit, this shit is not going to come to you. Okay. If you keep fucking with somebody that the universe has told you to stop fucking with, showed you to stop fucking with, you keep on, you keep dwelling on the past. You keep on giving the wrong motherfuckers. You keep having this big heart for the wrong people. You know, you're not going to get any results. Okay. It's just a little quick message for my collective. All right, so pay attention to the jealous people around you that don't want to see you doing better than them. And I'm sorry, most people don't talk about it, but some of the jealousest people be your family, okay? I got career change. So definitely, like I said, money coming in for the feminines, okay? Money coming in for the masculines too that are on the right path, that aren't out here doing fuck shit, okay? I know I got to make my, you know, channel more man friendly because I do have men that watch my shit too. And I'm sorry, but I just want y'all to know when I'm watching these videos, if you're the one that's being hurt, just flip everything. Okay. Because this goes for anybody who's in this situation. Okay. Spirit is rewarding you because you know what this card says. The real winner is the DF because she got away from the DM. Okay. You guys released this. I'm going to clap for y'all. Okay, because if nobody's clapping for y'all, I'm clapping. I'm happy for y'all. I want to see y'all do good, okay? Just like I tell everybody who I give readings to, make sure you keep me posted on what's going on. I want to know that you guys are okay. You guys are prospering. Finally, things are coming into your life, okay? I got Karmic has no respect for herself, even though I wasn't trying to make this reading about her but okay spirit gets i guess he wants me to let y'all know the karmic don't have no respect for herself but that's something we already knew you know and that's why you're the winner in this situation because you've learned to have self-respect self-love you've been calling on the light of god for protection okay if you don't know what the light of god is it's the is the light is a you know just imagine a white light okay that's protection all right, so God's light surrounds itself around people every day. And if, as long as you call on the light of God, if you're feeling scared, nervous, sad, mad, happy, glad, call on the light of God, okay? Envision a light around you and you shall be protected, okay? Also, save more money, feminines. Save more money, okay? Stop spending your money. If you're making money, save it. Stop going to the store. Stop going to the nail shop all the time, overdoing it, changing your color on your nails every time you get irritated. I feel like there's some feminines out there that go get their nails done, and then three days later, you want a new nail color. Stop doing that, okay? Stop buying unnecessary shit. There's also feminines that's out here that go shop when they're hurt, all right? You go shop when you're sad, mad. Stop doing that. Stack your bread. Stack your paper, okay? Because you ain't going to see that shit if you keep spending it every time you make the money. All right. Then I got passion for the DF is real. DM thought DF would always be there. So now that the DM is stepping through my reading like he always does. He always got to make himself known and relevant in the situation. So let's talk about it, DM. The DM is feeling so passionate and so in love and so in, you know, lust for the feminine because they see you in your bag they see you doing what they told you you couldn't all right the dm thought you would always be there thought you would always be stuck always be fat always be you know in a dark energy but look at you you didn't stepped out of that and now the job you've always wanted is here whether you see it now Okay, it's coming for sure. So those are my little short messages for the start of this reading, okay? So I want to tap in. We're going to do a video for my baby mamas, okay? Baby mamas. Let's tap in for the baby mamas. And just because my car has DF on it don't mean that, you know, 
You don't have to be a DF. You don't have to be a divine feminine. You can just be a normal woman. But all my cards are talking about the divine feminine. But I'm they're just that's just a woman, period. Okay. So for those that don't really know what's going on or what divine feminine, divine masculine means, it's a woman that is sent from heaven, basically. In so many words. Okay. So let's talk about it, baby mamas. All right. Y'all been on my mind heavy. There's a lot of women out here that are left with babies. Okay? And I don't know why this shit is in style all of a sudden. I don't know why this shit is in style all of a sudden. I'm sorry. I was trying to tell my child to turn that down a little bit. But I don't know why all of a sudden this and a baby mama is in style. But it is. So I'm here to have a conversation with my baby mamas, okay? So this is for all the women out here to have kids and you are separated with your baby daddy, okay? What I want you to know, the first thing that I need you to know is just because you have a child with somebody, that does not mean that you have to be with them, okay? Sometimes people bring kids in this world. Well, not people. Sometimes the creator decides that two people have to come together and create a child because that's just, like I say in my old videos, it's a DNA thing. It's a thing where, you know, certain people have the certain type of traits and genetics and all that that can bring certain beings in, certain souls, certain, I'm not going to say entities because entities kind of sound a little evil but you know certain spirits okay certain souls so stop looking at this whole baby mama baby daddy thing as a you got to stay and be hurt and abused and used because you have a child with somebody okay that's not the case that's just what I wanted to start off by saying so let's tap right into my baby mamas all right my women out there that are have carrying somebody's child and they're not with them or that have several kids with a person and they're not with them okay let's see where the baby's mama's energies is right now baby mama's Ooh. okay all tied up all right so of course you guys are all tied up you guys are in your feelings right now okay storm warning popped out as well Somebody could be 23. Somebody could have a 10-year-old with their baby daddy, okay? But you baby mamas are definitely, you know, all tied up with your kids, all tied up with your emotions, all tied up with your thoughts, all tied up with your struggles, okay? You guys are trying to rush and snap back for the summer. You know, you're trying to rush and get over this baby daddy because you tired of him, you know, embarrassing you, cheating on you, getting you pregnant, leaving you. This is a baby mama that's had several kids for the same man. And this man just won't seem to get it together for you. He just won't seem to change. He just won't see to, seem to be a father to the kids. OK, he always picks other women over you every chance he gets okay he uses you're technically a live incubator for this man okay one of those i think that's one of those things where um an incubator isn't that one of those things where when a baby is first born they put them in the look you know the little the first thing they sit the baby in once they're born and they kind of got like a light over it i don't know if that's called an incubator but if it's not my bad but y'all know what i mean but basically, you're, they look at you as a mate, okay? And some of these guys don't even get y'all pregnant on purpose. It's just the chemistry y'all got with each other. It's just, you know, the, the way y'all DNA collides, y'all easily make children, okay? These are fertile baby mamas that I'm talking to, all right? But you guys are definitely, you know, all tied up with a person that you have kids with. And spirit is wanting me to tell y'all, stop thinking that you have to stick with a person. Also, there are women out here that keep having kids with the same trash ass nigga because you don't want to have multiple baby daddies. Fuck that. Okay. Why keep having the same? Why keep having kids with somebody that's showing you that they don't fuck with you like that? Or they, they enjoy getting with other women and keeping you on the side. And just saying, oh, you're my baby mama. Come on, baby mamas. Come on. We got to stop that. We got to stop 
being comfortable with just being the baby mama. Oh, he know where home at. Oh, he knows I'm his baby mama. Arguing with the girlfriends. I'm his baby mom. I'm going to be around forever. And this video is not to down talk baby moms because I'm a baby mama. Pretty much everybody is a baby mama. But I'm specifically talking to the baby mamas that have kids with their masculine and you're just sitting on the sidelines. Not necessarily a sideline, but you're not moving on. You're not trying to fix your life. You ain't doing nothing. You're just sitting around waiting on this baby daddy to get his shit together. And I'm here to tell you that it's not going to happen. Like Sierra said, if that boy don't love you by now, he ain't going to never love you. Okay? No matter how many kids you give him. No matter how many times you bail this nigga out of jail, no many time, no matter, no matter how many times you make, leave, make, leave your door open for this person to come stay, okay? This is a street baby daddy that I'm picking up on, okay? A lot of you females have a lot of trash as undercover brother, as baby daddies, and they can't treat you right because they really want a man, Okay? We got to stop holding these baby daddies down, okay? And I got storm warning. So, there's a baby mama out there that is going the fuck through it with their baby father, okay? I'm talking busting windows out the car. This baby daddy has left you for another woman that they don't have kids with. That You know, this is a deceitful baby daddy, okay? This is a baby daddy that lies, that then took your rent money and gambled it up. They didn't, you know, took your kids' milk money and, and, and spent it. This is a baby daddy that takes your car and go have bitches all in your car all day. Saying he out hustling, but he really out letting the next bitch be in your passenger seat. And for some, this is, this is a baby daddy that's so bold, he even let the bitch drive your car. Okay? You're dealing with a deceitful man, okay? You're dealing with, and this, some of you guys' baby daddy could be between the ages. Not even between. There could be a 23-year-old baby daddy, 25-year-old baby daddy, okay? You could have a 10-year-old with this person. What else, okay? This is a masculine, I'm uh, not a masculine, okay, because I'm trying to get away from the divine masculine part. This is a baby daddy that leaves you at home in anxiety, okay? So this is what's happening, I'm talking to a collective of baby mothers that are just, re I'm picking up on a baby mother that just gave birth to a baby, okay? This masculine, masculine could have possibly given you a STD while you were pregnant, and it, it's a curable STD. But this is a baby daddy that could have given you a STD while you were pregnant, okay? He was very deceitful to you. Like I said, said you were letting him drive your car. I feel like this is all happening mm -hmm. while you were on a maternity leave. Or while you weren't, you know, you probably got so big in the pregnancy, your feet were so swollen, your back was so hurting. I'm also hearing this is a baby mama that was working at Walmart or something like that. But either way, like a cashier job of some sort. But this masculine definitely, I'm okay, not masculine. If I say masculine, y'all, know that I'm talking about the baby daddy. Because I'm just so used to focusing on these masculines that I've just got used to saying masculine. But this is a baby daddy that promised to take care of you while you were all swollen and couldn't work and you were sitting in the house while you were sitting in the house to you know waiting on this baby to come this masculine was out fucking around and you felt it you know this masculine hurt you really bad during this pregnancy um i feel like also it became to a point where he broke up with you while you were pregnant because he felt like you were bitching too much. You were complaining too much. You know, men love when a woman gets pregnant. Because you can't really do shit to get back at them. You can't get no revenge. I mean, there's some people out here that'll fuck a person while they're pregnant. But you damn nasty, in my opinion, if you have sex with somebody else while you're pregnant. That's, I don't think that's cool. Especially if it ain't the, you know. Now, I ain't gonna say especially if it ain't the baby daddy. Because we know. That's what we're talking about. You, If you fucking somebody that ain't your baby daddy while you're pregnant my opinion i don't think that's cool okay wait to have sex why have somebody else's penis bacteria dick hitting your cervix where your child is fresh living up in your womb and this stranger's energy is going on your child that's not cool in my eyes but everybody has their own opinions of things i'm not judging anybody but if i just think that's not cool okay i think it's nasty but either way it goes 
back to my reading, I feel like, you know, there's some baby mamas out here that, you know, are being treated like complete shit. Like some of these baby daddies have women. They've left you for someone else. Okay. They've left you for a bitch they don't have kids with. And they're playing stepdaddy to their kids while you at home with their kids. And you're still, you know, letting them drive your car. And they're lying to the girlfriend, telling the girlfriend that it's their car when it's really yours. Okay. So if you've been suspicious, if your baby daddy has got a bitch in your car, he does. Okay. He's telling these women that this is his car. And if the women have seen you with this car, he's telling them that you were using the car, that the car is theirs. Okay. I could be talking to somebody 18 that just freshly had a baby with somebody. Okay. But this masculine is always, this baby daddy, sorry, is always being deceitful to you. Okay. He don't care about the fact that you his baby mama, that you got to have a, a clean mental to raise y'all child. He don't care that when he do shit to embarrass you on the internet, that you're going to see that shit and it's going to affect you. It's going to affect your parenting. It's going to make you cry in front of the kids. It's going to make you possibly, you know, lose all interest in the day. You ain't going to want to do shit but lay in the bed. Like, you see what I'm saying? This girl is laying in the bed, looking at the, well, she ain't looking at the window, but I'm sure she looked out the window wondering when you gonna pull up with her car <laughs> i ain't trying to be funny i'm not laughing but it's just like it's so crazy what us women allow these men to do to us on a daily basis okay we just sit up and allow this shit and it's crazy all right so back to this the this storm warning card so something's getting ready to happen a fight I'm feeling like okay there's gonna be a fight between a baby mama and a girlfriend okay because there's a baby mama out here that has put too much work in with this baby daddy and he's walked away from you because you've lost all your self-worth self-love self-respects okay you don't care for yourself the way you do and like I always say in my videos men are chasers and when you you know start showing a man that you need them and you are relying on them and they're everything to you it's fucked up but they use that as a weakness okay they they look at you like you ain't shit because you are in love when a, when you fall so weak for a person i mean you should be i mean you should be able to love safely you know you should be able to give your all to a person without them using that as leeway to hurt you and abuse you and use you okay but most men they take that as a key to fuck you over but this Baby daddy has definitely decided that, you know, he wants to explore other options with women that don't have kids. That's another thing, too. It's like as soon as a man gets you pregnant, he loses interest in you. This is not all men, but it's a lot of men that are suffering from childhood wounds, toxic, you know, emotions, toxic feelings, you know, getting mistreated, not having a daddy around, their mom not showing them the right attention. You know, a woman can't raise a boy properly you know you need your father so it's a lot of little ass kids that are the age in the, between the age ranges of 20 and 50 that are still operating with a 10 year old mindset a 16 year old mindset a 17 year old mindset okay but there's some baby mamas that have put in a lot of work i'm talking a lot of work you done forgave and forgave and forgave. I'm also picking up on a baby mother that held her baby daddy down in jail for a minute. Okay, you dealt with bitches saying he's calling them. You dealt with bitches saying that, you know, they put money on his books. You ignored all the Facebook posts, the Twitter posts. The Snapchat posts, however, whatever social media y'all operate on, you've ignored all these women saying they fuck with him because you love your baby daddy. You love him a lot, okay? You bust your ass, work two and three jobs. And if you ain't work two and three jobs, you hustled to make sure this nigga was straight in jail just for him to get out and take action towards another woman that don't even have a kid with him. And y'all are pissed. Y'all are fucking pissed, okay? That's why this storm warning card is here. Because this is the this is the tower moment card, okay? This is when something's finna happen that's gonna shake up the motherfucking scene, okay? And I'm also feeling some of you baby mamas is ready to fight, ready to attack the other woman. And I'm here to tell you, just don't do it. It's better 
to sit back, relax, and let karma whoop the ass, okay? Because some of you guys could end up in jail away from your kids. And then now your baby daddy, who possibly don't really even give a fuck about his kids like that. Because he's too much of a child. You know, he's too much in that 17-year-old energy to know how to even raise some kids. He going to be letting, he not going to step up, okay? Your kids are going to end up with your mama, cousins, possibly in the system, okay? Because the anger you got up inside of you, if you put your hands on this girl, you're going to fuck her up. And that's just what I'm saying. Like, you're going to fuck her up. That's why this is here. So this is your warning from spirit. If you feel like you're ready to fight about your baby daddy, stop. Because this storm going to come in and tear your life apart. Okay? Control your anger. Get out of this anxiety, anger feeling. All right? We know that he was deceitful to you. Baby daddies are usually deceitful. That's why they're called babies, dads, okay? They're not called husbands. They're called babies, dads, because that's all they are. They don't show shit else. Not all baby daddies. There's some actual great baby fathers out here that respect their baby mothers, that'll never put nobody above their baby mothers. But there's a lot of baby daddies that'll put a baby in a woman and spit right in her face, okay? But there's definitely a baby mama that... I'm picking up the girlfriend is high yellow, like light-skinned, very light-skinned, skinny. And you guys are feeling like envious and just rageful towards this woman, okay? I got the door to value, which is money, all right? This is a baby daddy that's with this person because of her money. She probably possibly cashes them out. You know, this is a, a baby, not a baby mother, but this is a girlfriend that got money. You know, she goes to work. She don't have any kids. And she's just basically, you know, pretty chill. And, you know, that's why this baby daddy is fucking with her. This is why he's, you know, in a relationship with her because she cashes him out. She don't got no kids to spend money on. So she don't mind giving her money to a nigga. She don't mind, you know, giving him money to re-up on whatever type of hustle he got in the streets. Okay, and I know that shit upsets the fuck out of you. All right, I got the garden and the gate. Like I said, yeah, this girlfriend is successful or she could possibly just have really good money. All right. Meanwhile, you're over here in this dark, clouded attachment energy. Like you're attached to your baby daddy. You feel like this is the this is the one for you. And he's left you for someone that you feel he thinks is better than you. When all reality, she ain't better than you. Okay. I got the journey card, I got the woman holding the heart, and I got the angel of love, okay? So, let's get into this. So, baby mama, you are very attached to your baby dad. You love your baby dad. You would not put nobody else above your baby daddy, okay? You got to let go of this attachment feeling, though, okay? <clears throat> because, you know, right now this girlfriend is feeling like, she holds your baby father's heart in her hand, okay? She is laughing at you. And I'm not saying that, you know, it's funny because it's not. It's not funny to laugh at somebody's pain. But you're making a fool of yourself, baby mama, okay? And I'm not trying to talk down on my baby mothers. Like I said, I'm a baby mama and I was in this position before, okay? But it's when you are down and out and then a man got a person that is doing good and their life is is great, you know, they got money, they love they self, because he going to break this girl down too. As soon as he get a, put a baby in her, he going to be on to the next person. But right now that's not the case, okay? So they're laughing at you like, oh, she's miserable and she want to fight and she should be walk watch. This is what this girlfriend is telling her friends if you argue back and forth with the girlfriend. This bitch want to fight. She's pressed because I'm fucking her baby dad or she's pressed because I'm with her baby dad. Um, she need to be focused on that baby. She's spending more time lurking on my page and bothering me when she should be worried about changing a diaper. This is a conversation that I'm hearing a girlfriend say to her homie. Okay. Let go of that attachment issue. Stop being the laughing stock. Pick yourself up, baby mama. You got to represent for the baby mamas out here. Okay. Trust me. It's stepdaddy season, okay? You don't have to be with your baby father. You don't have to stay attached to somebody just because they put a baby in you. 
okay? And also, I feel like when you release this baby daddy, you're going to come across a nigga that got money that's going to come straight in dropping bands on you and your kid, paying bills. He going to put you in a new car. Okay, some of y'all might even be talking to a nigga on the side that got money, but you keep blowing him off because you're too attached to this baby father, okay? This weak-ass baby father, all right? You're the angel of love. Your heart is made of gold. You've been, you've given this, you know, baby daddy way too much of you for too long. Let somebody else enjoy this part of you, okay? And then I got the journey card. The journey card represents you ending something and going on a new path, okay? Let broke-ass baby daddy have this girlfriend, okay? So he can take up all her money and shit. And I'm not, I, I, I'm really not for any woman being used or hurt. But it is what it is. Better you than them, okay? She laughing at you anyway. So prove, you got something to prove, baby mama. If you just had a baby and, you know... If you just had a baby and you feeling like you fat, you feeling like, you know, you is just ugly, you're unattractive, don't let that postpartum hit, okay? Don't let that postpartum, you know, suck you into the darkness. Don't let that postpartum make you feel suicidal, make you feel like you don't even want to have a baby. Some of you guys are just sitting in the house depressed. I feel I feel like it's a rainy area where someone is looking out of a window and it's just raining and you just feeling so in a dark mode, okay? This is my video to you, baby mama. Pick yourself up off the floor, okay? Get out of this dark place. Like, see, this woman is chained. You feel like you got to stay with your baby dad because this is your baby dad. You don't want people looking at you funny. You don't want to have multiple baby dads. If you want to stick with that, I don't want to have multiple baby fathers energy, you're going to be miserable for the rest of your life because this baby father ain't going to change. Not for you. Not for nobody. That's what I'm picking up. Just a collective of baby fathers that just feel like they don't have to change. For what? I feel like you've been with this person for years. This could be a baby father that took your virginity. And he's like literally the only person you've had sex with. What's going on? What's going on? And we just gonna call the girlfriend the karmic, okay? We just gonna say she may not be a karmic, but she's the new apple of his eye at the current moment. I know you may not want to hear this. And I know that's so hard to hear when you're in love with somebody. You're hoping to hear. That's probably why you on a video on YouTube looking for videos to watch tarot. Because you are hoping to find something that's going to tell you, you know, he still love you. He still care for you. But I'm not going to sugarcoat it, okay? I got DF update, all right? So, baby mama, you're coming up as the divine feminine. So, if you were wondering if you were a karmic or a divine feminine, you're definitely a divine feminine, okay? I got love yourself, baby mama, all right? Love yourself. Because this baby daddy is not going to respect you until you do. All right? I'm a lost cause. All right? This is how you're feeling. This is how you're letting this man make you feel. You're making you, 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 you're letting him make you feel like, you know, you're nothing. This is a baby mother that just gave birth that's in postpartum depression. You need to go hang out with some friends. You need to go to the sun. You know, go walk outside or something. Go be in at the park. If you got kids, a little boy, I'm picking up on a baby mama that just had a little baby girl and you got probably like a two-year-old son or three, you know, some a son that's caramel skin, okay? That's all you need. You don't need a man right now, okay? Because he leaves you alone all the time. Okay, this car says he leaves me alone all the time. He's always leaving you in the house, taking your money, possibly whooping your ass. This is a baby daddy that's probably put his hands on you while you were pregnant several times. And like, why are you, why, 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 why? This is making me mad. <laughs> his devilish ways, okay? This masculine is so devilish to you. He's so evil, so conniving. I'm hearing Leo, okay? This is a Leo baby dad, Capricorn baby dad, Taurus baby dad, I'm hearing, okay? 
fucked up, stubborn ass baby father that makes you kiss his ass, especially when he do you wrong. I wouldn't be caught dead with your no good ass, okay? Let this motherfucker go. He's not the one for you, okay? This is the energy you need to be in, baby mama. I wouldn't be caught dead with your no good ass. You couldn't, you couldn't pay me to fuck with you. This is the energy you're going to be in pretty soon after you watch this video and let it re register for a few days. You're going to start feeling like, you know, I know that it's hard to, you know, get over somebody you have a child with because you feel like this is all you know. You feel like this is someone. I'm also picking up on a collective who had a good baby dad at a point. At a point, he was so loving to you. He was the angel of love to you, okay? He showed you everything, you know, probably taught you how to drive, probably taught you how to hustle, taught you how to make money. I'm hearing strips. So some of you guys could have been a stripper. They used to take you to strip. Y'all had like a Bonnie and Clyde type of relationship. And as soon as you got pregnant, everything just went down the drain, okay? Can't sleep at night. You, you guys are not getting sleep. And if you're out here breastfeeding a new baby, you're definitely, that's the quickest way for your milk not to come in, okay? You're not getting sleep. How you gonna be a good mom to your kids if you up all night crying, lurking, trying to see what he's doing with this new bitch? Take a step back from social media, baby mothers, okay? Stop being mad at the girlfriend, even if she's a bitch. You're blocking your blessings by being angry at her because the this is what needs to make you feel better. Knowing that she's gonna get her karma for teasing you, I feel like this is the girlfriend that talks about your kids, claims your kids after you asked your baby daddy to tell her to stop. He allows it, okay? Let them do that shit. Ignore it, okay? Ignore that shit. God is working on them right now, okay? Lost and confused. Like, yes, like you, I'm not getting good cards for the baby mamas right now that are in love with their baby dads. You are letting this baby father rip you apart and you got to stop. You got to stop. Okay. Think, stay, live, and be positive. See, spirit is coming through these cards. Okay. You got to be positive, sis. Okay. You got to be positive. If he's for you, he will come to you. That's what the card says. And best friend wants everything you got. Don't dish it out if you can't take it, okay? So some of you baby mothers could be, you know, have you could have a best friend that is very jealous of you, that wants your life and could possibly want, to, want your baby daddy. And I'm also hearing there could be some best friends that introduced your baby father to this new girl secretly. That's how fucking conniving people is around you. That's how fucking bogus people is around you. I'm hearing move away. Move away from these people. Don't dish it out if you can't take it. Hold on. Keep one eye open and one eye closed on a best friend. So, yes, you definitely got a best friend, baby mama, that don't want to see you happy and is enjoying you going through this fucked up, you know, process. You may need to, if you got sisters and you got a friend that you talk to more than you talk to your sisters, cut. I'm, stop talking to this friend because she's not for you. And I'm sure she's showed you over and over and over again that she's not your fucking friend, okay? And this is a friend that can't dish out what she takes. If you did this shit to her, she'd have a fucking heart attack. She'll be ready to pull up and fight. So this is the best friend that's betraying you. She's seeing all that you're going through. She see you struggling with your kids. She see your baby dad moved on with a new person because she got money and can provide. And you can't work at the current moment. Even though when you were able to work, you was giving this masculine, or I mean not masculine, you was giving this baby daddy whatever he asked for. Now that you don't have money, now that you fucked up, now that you bigger, fatter, however it resonates, or you just in a position to where you can't give to him the way you used to. He done moved on to the next best thing. And now you left stuck with babies, crying kids. You just feel like you're losing your mind. And you think that this person is your friend. But they're really not. They're laughing at you. Cut motherfuckers off. Like I said in the beginning of the video. You, a lot of you know people are finna have success. And people ain't gonna be happy for you. Okay? They're not going to be happy. Karmics deal with ape shit by the DM, okay? So this girlfriend, she's definitely starting to see red flags. And I got Get Moving Now and Trick Bitch. And I got 
I will find a way to fit in when I'm not wanted, okay? So, you know, these girlfriends are starting to see little red flags about your baby father. Even though it may not appear, it might appear that everything is happy, everything's copacetic, everything's going good between them. He's do he. This is an unchanged, damaged, narcissistic, lying, bipolar, manipulative, confused, conflicted, undecided, disloyal, flexing ass, bum. He ain't healed. He coming to destroy this girlfriend's life and possibly make her a baby mama. So while they're sitting back laughing at you, baby mama, you need to be sitting back laughing at their ass, okay? I will find a way to fit in even when I'm not wanted. So I feel like this is a girlfriend that, you know, the baby daddy's father could possibly, I mean, the baby daddy's family could possibly not like her because they think she's a trick bitch you know they see her tricking on him also they feel like she's a hoe you know she's a gold digger it can go either way also get moving now so yeah move on from this baby father because he ain't the one for you baby mama no ma'am no ma'am what else all right i'm gonna pull from what is this that called wisdom uh, whispers of love okay i rarely use this deck but i feel like you baby mamas need some whispers of love because y'all are feeling so unconfident right now so depressed so low vibrational and i just want to pick y'all up okay pick y'all up off the floor all right choose love you have all you you always have a choice Make yours with love. So that card is just telling me, and I got love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge the truth, okay? Focus on your kids, all right? Stop looking to be loved by a man. Because this man, one thing this man did for you was gave you some people that's going to love you till infinity and beyond. And that's all you need. There's a lot of people in the world right now that need to be single. Everybody thinks that you have to be with somebody, and that's not true. It's not, okay? And choose to love yourself. Choose to, to be with yourself. That's why a lot of relationships don't work, because we really don't know love until we love ourselves. When you love yourself, then you'll know what you want to allow from a person, and you won't have to be heartbroken, okay? What else? What else? I'm going to pull some notes from the universe. notes from the universe because i just baby mamas don't be mad at me i'm not coming down on y'all or anything like that it's just messages from the creator messages from spirit okay there's a lot of baby mothers out here that's being treated badly and i'm i'm a i'm a baby mama so i'm team baby mama all day but it's just like i'm tired of seeing you know Baby mama versus the girlfriend. Baby mama getting clowned. Baby mama stalking. Baby mama this. We got to stop that shit. Because this is somebody you got a baby with. So they're going to be around forever. Okay? But you ain't going to want them at once, once it gets to a certain point. Once you get past the hard part, once you get from up under that dark cloud, everything is going to be up from there. Okay? Right now, you guys are just under a dark cloud. So it's hard to get out. It's hard to step up. Okay? But let it just, you know... I'm not saying be under the cloud and be scared and soak into sorrow. But until that cloud moves, and it's going to move when you let it move. It's going to move when you're ready for it to move. Okay? So go ahead and be hurt. But don't be hurt for too long because you got kids that need you. Okay? They need to see their parent at their best, not their worst. Okay? So let me get some messages from the universe. Some messages from the universe. What's, what do you want to tell our baby mamas out here? I go where you go, okay? So the universe is letting you know that they see what's going on, okay? They go everywhere you go. They hear every conversation you have. If you're praying to God, ask him why this is happening. You will be, it will be revealed to you real soon why this is happening, okay? Love is never in vain, okay? So like I just said, love does not hurt. Love will not treat you like this. Love will not abandon a family, okay? Love will not leave you in a dark abyss of emotions. You need you you needn't worry, okay? So stop worrying, baby mamas. If you're worrying about bills, child, you know, child care, who gonna watch your kids while you work, cause this nigga ain't around. 
The universe is already on it, okay? Start where you are. Dwell on what you love, okay? Worry about your kids. Don't be dwelling on how you're going to pay some bills. Your bills is already paid. Money is coming for everybody. I mean, everybody. Not just me. Not just you. Not just her. Everybody's got money coming in, okay? Your bills is taken care of. And that's word for me. It's going to work out for you, okay? So love and light to my baby mamas. I hope y'all ain't mad at me for throwing this message out here to y'all. I just needed to get this out here. I needed to let y'all know y'all got to stop kissing these baby daddies ass just because y'all got a kid with them, okay? Who's thinking about their baby daddy anymore? <laughs> I know it's easy to say because I, you know, y'all feeling like, oh, you can say that because you ain't in love with the nigga right now, okay? But I, like I said, I got a baby daddy too that sent me through shit. And it does eventually pass, eventually, okay? You'll get over it eventually, Eventually, you won't want this baby daddy. Look at your mom. For the mothers that get, for you, for you, baby mothers that got mothers that got other baby mom, baby dads other than your dad. Okay, look at her. She ain't sitting up, laid up, crying, rolling over over her baby daddy or your sister's dad or however it goes. Okay, it eventually passes. But stop being angry about this baby father deciding to go ruin somebody else's life. You should be happy that he's ruining someone else's life and not yours. I, I know that sounds bad. You shouldn't be happy for somebody else's pain, but I'm just saying better you than them. I mean, better them than you. Okay. So that's my reading for my baby mothers. If this reading resonated with you guys, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Um, I will definitely be hitting you guys with some more gems pretty soon. Love and light.